I ain't no guinea pig. Ain't no way I was getting all just to keep my job. I ain't no guinea pig. Grayson hooked me up with some real tight merch. Those Ark lovers get in my face now, I'm ready to pop them. Grayson? Where he at these days? Just that. Yo, where you been, man? He been running shit through that abandoned gas station for weeks. Oh, word? I wanted to get some upgrades for my Zenith 10 mil. He can hook you up nice, man. If you go, tell him I sent you. I want a discount next time. Word. Hmm. Okay, where is, where is, oh, right, okay, we're here. We're here. Meet with Detective Chase. Okay, nice. Totally didn't blunder in there. Totally didn't mean, yeah, that's, that's all good. Um, let's save it. Actually, I haven't saved it in freaking ages. Hello there. Well, you must be Adam Jensen. A keen observation. Mrs. Reed told me you might pay me a visit. And don't take this the wrong way, but you're kind of hard to miss. I'll try to take that as a compliment. She told me you might have information regarding Megan Reed's case and the attack on Seraph headquarters. Oh boy, what a mess. Total pissing match. We had the feds on our ass, orders from three different departments, and pressure from so many lobbyists it felt like being the scrawny new kid in the prison shower. It is a very high-profile case. Mrs. Reed said you thought some procedures were overlooked. You got that right. I mean, you know how it is. Mrs. Reed told me you used to be a cop. There's always cases where you see the lazy officers taking shortcuts. But this... this was different. Different how? Too much stuff got overlooked. People seemed way too eager to jump to conclusions, and every time I was remotely insistent, I got turned down by ranking officers. People wanted to bury this thing fast. That's never a good sign. Surely you have something more substantial than this. Yeah, well, that's where you come in. I got a couple of leads I could never fully investigate. I started poking around, but these government-type agents just gave me the creeps. I, I got scared. Months away from retirement, I didn't want to fuck things up. But you? You obviously have the means to get to the bottom of this. So what have you got? First off, there's a rumor that the order to close the investigation came from higher up. Maybe even outside the local department. Anything like that would have passed through Captain Penn. There might be traces of this left on his office computer. Guess I'll have to pay a visit to the local precinct. Well, well, while you're there, there was an officer assigned to the case, Chet Wagner. He's not what you call a choir boy. And when he suddenly got brought on the case, I got suspicious. Somebody wanted him there. And I'm pretty sure he tampered with some of the evidence. You should talk to him. Find out what he knows. Okay, I'll have a little chat with Officer Wagner. You'll most likely find him in the lobby. He got retrograded from his conduct, and he takes depositions now. He won't budge easily, but I'm pretty sure you can find some dirt on him on his desktop. His office is on the third floor. He might find something there to help loosen up his tongue. Anything else worth looking into? Yeah, when the order came down to close the case, the bulk of the evidence was stashed in a storage locker. Maybe you can find some interesting stuff in there. It's on the alley right next to the station. The code is 40... 4891. But I know an outside agency had access to that locker, so be careful. Thanks for the heads up. Bah, it's, it's nothing. And, uh, oh, uh, please, don't bother coming back here with details. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad to help. But the less I know about this case, the better I'll feel. Let's ask a little bit more. But we got a hell of a lot of information there, and now it's two reasons to go to the police precinct. Precinct? But yeah, let's ask a little bit more. How did you get assigned to this case? I didn't push for it, if that's what you mean. To be honest, I didn't want to get involved. Why not? I was an honest cop, Jensen. I always tried to conduct myself in accordance with the law, with procedures, and what I believed was right. Not really the standard M.O. for a case like this. You said an outside agency may have tampered with a storage locker. What did you mean by that? Well, I've seen, uh, I mean, I've heard, that government agents may have locked up some of the more sensitive evidence in a safe inside the locker. Come on, Chase. What are you not telling me? Damn it! Okay, listen. I snooped around that locker before and found the safe code. But I kind of got caught by one of those guys. He knows I know, Jensen. If I give you the code, they'll know I talked. Call me negative, but I can't think of a nice outcome to that. Hmm. Um, let's try and do that then. Space, yep. Uh, 
He is a beta, definitely. He's going all beta and omega on us, totally. Not an alpha then, not an alpha. So, um, let's see if we can, um, yeah, beta him, totally. Okay, yeah, it's been going omega as well, but yeah, it's definitely omega or beta. So, let's do beta. Come on, Chase. You're the good guy, the honest cop. In a police flick, you'd be the straight arrow. You know deep down you want to do what's right. That safe coat can mean a lot. Don't paint me as a hero, Jensen. I'm a regular guy. But you're right, though. I always try to do the right thing. The code is 7196. But do me a favor. Can you at least try to hack the damn thing before punching in the code? If I'm lucky, it'll be enough to throw them off. All right, good. Now it's kind of selfish of us trying to get him to tell us that, you know, because now he'll probably get in trouble if we just punch in the code. And he's a good guy, you know. But that um, social enhancer really came in handy there, as you can see, and it's very, very, very useful. And also we can sort of wander in here and see if we can rob some people, because that's what we do, because we're a good guy. Okay. I see what you mean. Hmm. But never mind. We'll just go and uh, have a look around, secure the area, see how people are doing. It's a very empty building with no doors inside it at all, apart from this one. Security rating 1. We can do this, guys. Let's hack it. So, let's have a look here. We have a little thing there, which will give us something, and that's what we're trying to get. So let's just go ahead and hack this, see how we do. We've been found. Let's go straight going down here then. We can stop it if we need to. Do it. Stop it. Access no, I didn't need granted. to. I got a stop worm, so okay, I, I came out just as I went in and also I picked the lock, so well, hacked it. Let's have a look and see. Our radar tells us there is no one here. I can now move the refrigerator. Which kind of gives the way that I was here, so let's go oh dear. Let's see if we can put the refrigerator back. Ah, that's going to be a bit of a giveaway that someone was in here. <laughs> um, oh well. Strangely enough, there's nothing here because this is somebody's bloody house. Oh. And we can hack this now because I upgraded my hacking. So yay. Um, so try going around well I'm gonna have to go go around here because there's an arrow pointing that way to get to there all right then hopefully we're lucky 50% chance of detection okay good now that gives us a much better chance of getting there I think we'll be okay click it we're okay we're fine access granted hooray so uh, let's see if, oh, let's see what's in here Oh, credits. I'm stealing someone's life savings. And a stop worm as well. Very nice. And there's nothing in their bathroom as far as I can see. Oh, there's an e-book. Oh, this isn't set in, this is in the past. Hmm. Will it ever happen? Um, yes. Yes, it will. I know what you're thinking. Did I see a break-in record in there? No. No, you didn't. Figment of your imagination. Alright, now we know the code for that thing. But do we have anything else we can be doing? So let's see. Uh, yes, I think we're going to have a look for this. Let's have a look at the map and see... Where's the map? That looks like the map. Yeah, there. Okay, so we'll head in this direction, which is just where we happen to be looking. Which is handy. And, um, see if we can get into... Get my pit bull augmented. Get him some <laughs> cyber paws and cyber fangs and shit. And throw him in the ring. Dogmentation? Yeah, word. Dogmentation. What'd you call that? Register. Love it. <laughs> Yo, we gotta be rich, man. You know what? I like that idea. That's a brilliant idea. 
Alright, so this is the place, obviously, that we need to get into. Now, can I hack it? I mean, that's the first question. Security rating 2. I can! Um, that, that actually solves a lot, <laughs> a lot of trouble. Let's go ahead and do that. Now, hopefully, I'm not going to get in trouble for doing this, so just a second. Um... You know, we're hacking somewhere in broad daylight. Maybe it just looks like you're punching in, in, a, in a, you know, a code or whatever. Not quite sure. But anyway, let's give this a go. 